Force. I'm James Cebulski. Well, game two of this matchup is set to go down tonight. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Savar. Montembeau's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Montembeau's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Canadians gain the zone. Feeds it over. Oh, what a hit. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Rock around a tip to nine. What a stop as he was locked in on that one. Now, James, he'd sealed the one close and then recognized that the shooter was going around the goal line and then he did the wrap around. He pushed across and made a brilliant save. Gets a piece of it to make the save. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Rister, scores! And a quick hush to the crowd as the rotate strikes. But when you set the tour, you get on the board first, you take the crowd out of it, you silence the building, James. Well, not only did this one surprise the goaltender, it also surprised me from this long-range distance, James. Guess the old Adad just put it to the net and good things can happen. The Penguins were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they established some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. And it's a quick pass to LeTang. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. Puts it on net and just got a piece of it to keep it out. Hayes moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Raquel. And cut that one out of the net. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. The Canadians are in transition. And that's broken out. Grabs the puck. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Crosses the puck loose. The Habs play it along the boards. Here's a shot. And that's stopped by Jury. Looks to set up at the point now. Here's a chance in front, and that goes off a player. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets it over to Krizlik. From the open ice, they gain the line. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Fires it! Too much congestion in front. The Canadians will play the puck from behind the net. Evans has it in the defensive end. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Quick pass over to Eller. Takes it from the right side. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Moves it around along the half wall. Great pressure with the stick. Rips it. Comes up with a stop. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Pittsburgh's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Keeps possession. 
possession. Matheson's moving the puck through his own zone. Slavkovsky's got it across the line. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. And the puck's knocked loose. And that'll free up the puck. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Big time play right there. Here's a chance. Another pass. And that's stopped. More than half the period has expired. The Penguins lead it 1 0. The Habs will go to work here in the offensive zone. He makes a save! Gets a piece of it with the glove! Moves it quickly over to Crosby. Rocks him! Oh, he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. And he takes the feed. Shuts him down! He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And now he moves it quickly to Rust. Cuts into the paint. Kicked off by Cooley. Puck grabbed by Caulfield. Sends it to the middle. He scores! What a play! Wow, James, that was just a blast from the high slot. Not sure where the coverage went, though. The coach is not going to be very support in the defensive zone. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Montreal's won the faceoff at center. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends the pass in front, and that doesn't connect. Beats the puck to Graves. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. They've got no room for that one to get through. And a great save. And this is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Makes the save. Works it across to O'Connor. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Puck scooped up by Doc. They fight for it along the boards. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Poked away in the neutral zone by Matheson. Loses his balance on the play. Picked up along the boards by Graves. The Penguins have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stick save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Harvey Pinard's gained the line and on the attack. Oh, this is the net and that was, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you gotta figure he's gonna put one by the tendy. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. The Penguins grab possession to the puck. Quick pass across to Bemstrom. Scooped up along the wall by Harvey Pinar. Brings it into period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time.
Been very tightly contested here through the first 20 minutes, and here we go with period number two. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Penguins are going to need to find a way to stay connected and gain some speed through the neutral zone, James, because they're really not getting into the offensive zone with any speed at all. And guess what? That's why they're not getting any shots on net. They're lucky this game is still tied. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Montembeau's going to hang on for a whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they'll go to work. The center and feed! Dishes it off again here! Takes the pass! Moves it to Slavkovsky! The Penguins have it behind the net. Moves it on over to Crosby. And he slides it quickly to Rust. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Rocks it on the play! Gets it in front of the one-timer! Taken along the wall by Suzuki. Receives the pass. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Grabs the puck. That knocks him off the puck. Inside the offensive end now down the left. And he takes the dish. Line A's got it in the defensive end. Here they come on the rush. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Passes over to Latang. Now a quick pass to Bunting. Uses the force on that hit. Quick feed to Doc. Here's a chance on the attack. Oh, what a chance. He came so close to putting it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Pinned up along the boards. Quick pass to Ajo. And he slides it quickly to Beauvillier. Shot! The blocker saved by Montembeau. With authority! Sends a pass over. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Eller. Handles the puck. Poked away at center by Barron. Puck picked up by O'Connor. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Penguins win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. The Canadians pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a shot. That was amazing. What a save by Montembeau. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Gains the zone from the right side. Takes a shot. Big time stop. Gary has been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck square to it and makes the save. And that's blocked in traffic. Pass across to Nieto. Puck dumped in, and the forwards are going to skate off. Angles it over to Doc. Gallagher's got it along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. The Penguins have it now. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves it up. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. And now he moves it to Bunting. Picks off the pass. And swats the puck out of midair. Latang stick handling in his own zone. 
The Penguins take it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Raquel. And will play on as that gets a piece of the glove. Takes the feed. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Let's go! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. This is a beautiful goal, James. You get in tight, you pause the goaltender, move it to the back end, and you finish. The Penguins find themselves a big-time goal here in the back half of the second. Well, that's a huge goal, James, because it's opportunistic. They haven't had many shots on net. They haven't had possession. But they find a way to capitalize when it counts. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Rust. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Moves it to Slavkovsky. The Canadians take it along the wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Chari. the midway mark of the frame. Pittsburgh's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Picked up along the wall by Caulfield. Off a stick and they can't connect. And he makes the easy save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Both teams readying here for the face-off. They win the draw and go on the attack. Hammers a shot! Oh, what a step by Chari! The Penguins skip it up along the boards. Takes that pass back to the point. Montreal's gained possession. My goodness, look at this! The pressure is really starting to cook. delivery and executing hit. Well, he certainly did there. Slavkovsky's lugging the puck. Quick feed to Barron. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in the open ice. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Handles the pass. And he takes the pass. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And that's poked away. Moves into the slot and makes the save. And then turns off one of his teammates in front. Moves the puck. Sneaks by the puck check. Shot! Walker save and a good one by Montembo. Grabbed along the board by Matheson. Moves it in front. Oh, wins the ball. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Hayes wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. And that's broken up. Quick pass to Raquel. Knocked off the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. to the bench. Teams are ready for the draw. The Lions been about to drop the puck. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Well, there you go. 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water. Get hydrated and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Officials have dropped the puck for the third period. Let's go. 
Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Montreal's up against a hot goaltender, James. And you know when a goaltender's feeling it, you're going to have to get them moving laterally. And so they're going to have to find a way to go east-west and know exactly when to fire that puck. Russ has been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Great use of the stick at center by Pedersen. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Great reach with the stick by Slavkovsky. The Canadians have it behind the cage. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Pass across to Slavkovsky. Play is called for offside. Lots of time left in this period. The Penguins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Takes possession after that center ice face-off. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Passes out front. He scores! What a goal! Man, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. Goal against the coach is salty behind the bench right now. You can just see his whole demeanor is negative because he's not impressed with the way his team is playing. You know, it's been a lackluster effort. They didn't come ready to play, they weren't prepared. The Penguins extend the lead to two here in period number three, still early, but you gotta love that lead now. I want to know what was said in the intermission here, James, because they came out with a vengeance. They really dictated pace and they get rewarded for it. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Here's a short pass to Doc. And that's knocked away. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Montembeau. Go connect on the shot. Taken by Line. Nice feed at center. Moves up ahead now. Denies him! Jari's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. From the right side, they gain the zone. Here's the pass. Denies him in front. Picked up along the boards by Bunting. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here we go, up in rush. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Krislik. Handles the puck from the left side. Shekhar's taking it from his own end. Pushes it across to Anderson. Pittsburgh's got the puck here in the open ice. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. bovillier has got the puck in his own zone. That's loved by Jari. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes a save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Pittsburgh's got a 3-1 lead. The Hats take possession off the faceoff. Makes the save with the trapper. Pushes it across to Eller. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Strong defensive effort. Moves it to Evans. Puck grabbed by Anderson. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Ajo. On oh, a good textbook hit there. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Matheson. Gets it back. Looking to make something happen along the boards. to be 
able to possess it. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Savar. Caulfield's going to play it against the half wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And he stopped that one. And he's knocked off the puck there. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. The Habs have the puck now. Looking for space inside the D zone. Long Great lead pass shot, up the shot. center. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight, it's been fast-paced, defensively structured, and you never know which way it's gonna end. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Glass is such a creative player. If he sees an opening, you know he's gonna take it. He's an aggressive style player and he tries to attack. But when he does it there, he loses the puck. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Gaining steam here on the attack. Shot, and that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Centering feed. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Montreal's crossed the line and on the attack. Here's a chance. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Pittsburgh's going to start with the puck in their own end. The Penguins work it through center. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Scores! And look at that. They answer right back. Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Pittsburgh's in the driver's seat now, up by two in this third period. Well, yeah, and it's been a consistent effort from start to finish here, James. Now they got to make sure that they play this last little bit the same way they started. Aggressive on the puck, but be cautious when they need to. Sometimes the simple play is the effective one. Quick feed to Cop. He scores! The big man, Patrick Laine, delivers again. Goal scorer's goal, just a knack for the net, but it all comes off of a beautiful distribution. I mean, just eyes in the back of the head to be able to give that gift right to the stick. Montreal's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Benches up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. Now how important the space off is to get possession and start attacking in the old zone. Puck scooped up by Raquel. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. Battling for it on the boards. Takes a hit but still hits on to the puck. Takes it in front. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly pin right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Here in the late goings of the period, the Penguins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Penguins have the puck in the corner. What a steal in his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Shepard. Setting up behind his own end now. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. The Canadians played along the boards. Sends the pass in front.
got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they got to win this face-off and dictate the pace. Here's a feed in front. Picked off in front. Montembeau's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Canadians win the draw. And he slides it quickly to Matheson. Lowers the boom with that hit. Here they are on the attack. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. You can just tell that his teammates love playing alongside him, James. Why he is in on the battle almost every single play. It also means that they don't have to go in there. They know he's got a nose for it. He's going to find a way to get the puck, retrieve it, and get it to them. That's, that's what he does, and this goal is a byproduct of that. What a game. It's a playoff game. It's the third period, and your team gets the equalizer. You can tell that the coach is feeding off the energy of the crowd. Listen, there's a home team advantage right now, and it is theirs. Montreal's playing to win here now in the late stages of this one, Cheryl. And it's amazing how you can get so much rejuvenation off of a goal at the late stages of a third period. You know, the whole bench is up and ready to go. They want the call. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Malkin's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. In the final moments of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Puck dumped in. Quick pass to Carlson. And he lowers the boom there. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Feeds it down low. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Now a quick pass to Pedersen. Gaining momentum along the wing. He got all of that hit. Moves it quickly over to Eller. Oh, just a textbook hit. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Moves it up through the middle to the right. comes to an end and we are still tied. Overtime is looming and we'll bring it to you in moments. The moment of truth has arrived. Overtime is set to go. Overtime is underway here. Next goal wins. Let's go. Moves it to Caulfield. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Keeps possession on the play. Makes his presence known on the ice. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Big face off here inside the offensive end. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work. Scores! What an OT winner! A tenacious effort and they get rewarded with the OT victory. This goal all comes down to winning the face-off in the offensive zone, James. Everyone knows their responsibility. It's about making sure they get to the spots that they need to get to and get off a quick-release shot. Great goal. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to 
to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.